I'll be moving out in a week from my current apartment and before the moving kiosk begins I wanted to do a quick apartment tour so I did not fully decorate my current apartment I knew midway of my lease itself that I will not be renewing my lease and I'll be moving out but I did try my best to make the space my own even though I knew my time is limited here so the apartment is a one-bedroom apartment currently I pay $23.50 and if I had renewed my lease it would have been $2,500 this is my first New York City apartment moving to this space meant a lot so when i was moving here i sold almost all my furniture this was kind of like my fresh start and trying to redefine myself when i felt i was stuck in life and also if you're new here my name is tisha i am 34 years old and i live by myself and my dog chape as soon as you enter it's my living room and home office but before that we'll get started with the bedroom first so my bedroom has these massive windows because of the massive windows i do get daylight in the bedroom not much of sunlight but daylight i do get a good amount even when i have this privacy screen on the bottom i mainly place this because it's street facing and then also i've installed a mesh screen as well so that i can open the windows for ventilation the windows are massive and has molding on the side very pretty and also for the curtains what i ended up doing is two tier so the first one is translucent and then i have blackout curtain on the outside did the same thing for this window as well i had to chop off the curtain here because i had mold issue on this side of the room and that's why the floors are like this my super tried to help out with the mold issue so after getting mold on this side i never Put anything over here and then i never ended up changing these curtains as well because i knew i would be moving out so for bed i opted for a full bed i wish i got a bed with storage like with drawer or something but because of the height of the bed i am able to still store a couple of items i have two massive closets as well it's completely stuffed in the closet is so big that i don't have to change between summer and winter clothes i do have still my summer clothes out initially i thought i would need to pack it but the closet is so deep that i don't have to switch between seasons i have my winter stuff on this side some winter stuff here as well as bags and then on this side i have my summer clothes as well as my dresses and then more storage on the top so these shoe racks, I ended up painting lavender. I got it from Ikea years ago and it was brown in color. I was thinking to actually toss it out, but I ended up upcycling it and painting it lavender. So on top of the shoe rack, I have a couple of plants, my jewelry box, and I have more plants on the bottom. So I did not install this. This one came with the apartment, which comes in very handy. It serves as a nightstand as well. And then on the back, I have these hooks i have my ring light my tripod and stuff here and then these are my moving boxes and chappie's toy basket also serves as a door stopper so that's the bedroom now moving on to the living room kitchen and my office space so for the entrance i ended up putting this wallpaper and it blends so well with the peephole this is one of my favorite diys i've ever done i have more plants here i put some medicines and some choppy's cleaning stuff here on the back this one is the video intercom this is an older one when i first moved in they only had this and soon after they had installed this as well and then i have my full length mirror for my ootds so for my office space since i do my corporate work here i do my youtube editing here so i really wanted a flexibility of sitting and standing so i end up getting a standing desk since i spent so much time at my desk i wanted my desk to be colorful too otherwise my previous setup was kind of boring also i love how i can separate the bedroom versus the living room office and kitchen in my previous apartment i used to have my work desk in my bedroom it was so hard for me to turn off my brain especially for my corporate work when everything is still blended together when you work from home for youtube i can but for my corporate work for some reason i can't i struggle turning off my brain on a regular basis but having the setup did not help at all and then i have chappie's bed here he loves to give me company when i'm either editing or working and then on the left hand side i have my living room as well as my kitchen since i really wanted my curtains to be pink and also my office chair to be pink that's why i opted for this green color in that way it breaks the color scheme as well as it complements 
the pink green lavender theme that i'm going for for the living room i was supposed to get a carpet but at one point i just stopped decorating my space i'm using my um what's it called my dresser as a tv stand as well and this is completely full too i have more plants here on the dresser this one's a bit struggling but she is doing really good so i do have a big window here as well but i ended up putting privacy screen because it faces one of my neighbor's window plus from here i don't really get much natural light because it faces the back and then i have my ac here so the curtains i got here it is super long because of the high ceilings hold on i just want to show how long my curtains are it is super long and then now moving on to the kitchen even though it's tiny it has everything i need it does have a full fridge i recently found out that not all apartments come with the full fridge even in the kitchen i follow this colorful theme as well so i was still determined to make my place colorful that even my trash can is lavender color and then the one in the bathroom is light pink color when i say colorful it's not like every color predominantly pink green purple lavender i have some plants on the top here i do have storage in this space as well since my kitchen doesn't really have any counter space i got this kitchen island here on the bottom i have chape's food some of his treats and then just additional kitchen stuff in the corner here i use it for additional storage like for my paper towels toilet paper then i have my paint here as well and then i have my wallpaper i ended up putting the same wallpaper on the fridge as well and it complements really well with the microwave color too again one of my favorite diys ever and i'm so sad to take these out in upcoming days putting the wallpaper on the fridge was kind of challenging once i figured it out it was fine but it did take me two tries to get it right whereas the main door one i got it in one shot it did take me a few hours but it was nothing compared to the fridge fridge was very hard there are a lot of curve area and then i had to match the print as well to make it look like it's not one piece but looks continuous even though it's the same wallpaper it doesn't look too redundant because there is good amount of distance between the fridge and the main door plus i have this wall that deviates up the kitchen from the living room so when i first moved in i had a lot of cockroach issues so i do still have these sticky traps out here in the kitchen and in the bathroom i do have two more in my bedroom as well but when i first moved in majority of issues were in the bathroom and kitchen the roach issues is not bad anymore but i still put sticky traps it's just for my sanity for some reason if the issues come up again at least i'll find out these sticky traps are effective especially in the areas where you know rodents are prevalent i wasn't planning to go up but i do want to show you guys how the storage looks like upstairs not upstairs up in the loft so i have tennis elbow and my tennis elbow has been very flared up flared up lately so instead of removing this i'm just gonna climb up here and then show you guys how the top looks like okay this is how it looks like on the top so i have a foldable bed i have a bunch of suitcases i have some of my clothes and shoes that i was supposed to either sell or donate broker had mentioned that the previous tenant used to have like a guest bed here i feel like this comes in handy for storage i don't know about sleeping up here and then i have more space here if i wanted to put like baskets or use it for additional storage and then this is the view from the top if i ever decided to use that nook now i'm going on to the bathroom so currently my lights are not working that's the reason why i am using this floor lamp from my bedroom again i have more sticky traps here when i first moved in for a couple of months this is where i was finding majority of the roaches and my bathroom is kind of tight but it has good amount of storage Hold on. Let me know what you guys do with clothes that aren't necessarily dirty, but you wore it a couple of times or just once. Hey, Chape. This is what Chape does whenever I use the bathroom. He just wants the door to be open to make sure that I'm here. <laughs> I don't know why he does that, but he doesn't like doors to be closed. Even though he's in the living room, he'll just open the door and then he'll go away. Right, right now too. He walked away. 
and then i have additional storage here it's a complete mess i store my makeup hold on let me just show it to you guys you wanna come in come on come in he just wants to feel included right so yeah it's a complete mess initially i was thinking maybe i could use this as vanity but it's very hard to do my makeup here so what i do is i always move whatever i need to here and then i do my makeup here i do want to organize this better in my next space i used to have a vanity table and i would love to have one but space issues so i can't i can't do that so in this medicine cabinet i have additional skincare stuff and then i have some hair stuff remember how i check when i look at other apartments under the sink area this is the main reason so this area was cocked up after i moved in so the exterminator had mentioned that i should cock up this area and my previous super had helped me with that again this is regarding rodents and then to organize my bath items i have this organizer a lot of times in my vlogs i pop up my camera up here i do put another towel here as well and that way the camera does not slip and then i do my skincare makeup here and catch up with you guys so i do have a big window in the bathroom as well i do have privacy screen here too since it faces another neighbor's window i don't really use this window at all i haven't opened it because it faces the back and the back kind of looks stingy and with the roach issues and stuff i'm too mm -mm, i don't open it at all and that's it for the bathroom so i did do an apartment tour of my previous apartment if you have watched that video you will see how big of a difference in terms of color palette style i had matching bed dresser nightstands same color work desk same color vanity table i wanted to be like so matchy matchy that it ended up looking like a furniture store at the end i really wanted to incorporate color this time around and make my space how i want my life to be colorful and cheerful even though my headspace was not there i still wanted to do things that's that is within my control i wanted my living environment to be an extension of me so i was very mindful on things that i wanted to include in my apartment because of that it did take me a while to even get to this point even though it's incomplete so when i made the decision of moving out from my current apartment i couldn't wait for this day i can't believe that this chapter is ending i'm moving out of my first new york city apartment and now packing craziness starts i just wanted to take this video as a memory for myself as well so much has happened in this space so much growth so much discovery so many challenges i can't wait for the next chapter i hope it's less bumpy thank you so much for being part of this journey i know a lot of you guys found me when i first moved in here and thank you so much for being here and supporting me and going through this journey with me if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and support the channel if you have an instagram my instagram is disha shrashta and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.